call it the Trump trade. Continuing to add to that post-election pop. Among the biggest winners, private prison companies whose stock prices have soared on President-elect Trump's promise for mass deportations. They will carry out the largest deportation operation of criminals in American history. Shares of Geo Group and Core Civic rose more than 50% since the election. The private prison companies say they're ready to detain more undocumented immigrants. Geo Group said after its latest earnings that it's well positioned to more than double the number of detainee beds from over 13,000 now to potentially over 31,000 in the future. It also said it could scale up its monitoring programs for migrants, like case management apps and GPS trackers, from 182,000 now to millions of people. The GEO Group was built for this unique moment in our company's, country's history and the opportunities that it will bring. The company did not respond to our request for comment on expansion. Wall Street analyst Brian Violino says Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, could bump up their business. There's generally an expectation that there will be a significant increase in the amount of beds uh, being required by ICE for some of, um, again, what Trump has proposed that he was looking to do in a second term, uh, which would directly impact both GEO and Core Civic. According to the ACLU, more than 90% of people detailed in ICE custody are held in private prisons, a number that actually increased during Biden's administration. Fialino says both Geo Group and Core Civic currently generate about 30% of their revenue from ICE. But the private prison industry has faced scrutiny from critics like the ACLU. We see private prison companies cutting costs, not providing medical care, not, not providing people the safe and humane conditions that, that they deserve. The ACLU issued a report earlier this year alleging that many of the 68 deaths that occurred in ICE custody, most of which happened in private facilities, could have been prevented, including the suicide of Panama-born Jean Jimenez. He was amazing. He inspired so many people, and he inspired me to dream. Gene's sister says he came to this country as a child and had DACA status, but was detained in 2017 after getting pulled over driving. Unfortunately, he ended up in solitary confinement. Gene was at a core civic-run facility in Georgia. An ICE memo noted he needed help for schizophrenia, but also said the detention center didn't have the appropriate psychiatric resources to help him. You have a system that's structured to maximize the most amount of bets as possible to keep those occupied so they can increase their profit. Core Civic tells us in part its responsibility is to care for each person respectfully and humanely while they receive the legal due process that they are entitled to. Also saying ICE was responsible for medical and mental health care services at that facility at the time of Jimenez's death. ICE did not respond to our request for comment about Jimenez and referred us to the Trump transition team regarding policy. They said, in part, Trump was elected to, quote, change the status quo in Washington. The more people that are going to be held in the detention system, the more danger that people are going to face as a result of the conditions in these detention facilities. Concern that Trump's return to the White House will flood private prisons as others prepare for a massive business opportunity. Brian Chung, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.